based on feedback from the firms uh, where that, that have hosted girls who invest interns and subsequent hires, as well as the CFA's work on building bridges and programs for next gen financial services. What do uh, some of these younger women share about what they're looking for from prospective new employers? I'm happy. I'm happy to start. I think this is what inspires me most about the talent that we're recruiting to come into the industry. They are so passionate about making an impact. It is literally in their DNA. It is in their core. They are equally passionate about joining a community, a community of peers, a community of experts to get a sense of culture and to have that be a key determinant in where they choose to work, that they feel like they're making an impact. They feel like they have a peer group in terms of the industry, in terms of like-minded asset management professionals, and by like-minded, I mean their passion for their industry and their passion for what they do. That drives them so much. I will say that another thing that I find particularly inspiring about the women that we're recruiting, they're also very passionate about having honest conversations coming in the door about pay equity. It's important to them. They are prepared for the conversation. We certainly help them with that, but they, they, they want to have the conversation. They're eager to. They want to learn how to have it. And I think that's a huge shift within the last five years that people are coming to the table. They not only know what they want to get out of their careers, but they also are starting to understand how to have that conversation. And I think employers are better off as a result because once that employee comes on board, they have really thought through the job opportunity from all angles. Yeah, I think I think there's a, a great point, and there are some super impressive young women out there who, you know, if if they are involved in a program like Girls Who Invest, and then get into the you know the, the right kind of internships and and those training programs, you know, they are going to be an amazing resource going forward. So I think the, you know the points about the visible role models really matters that actually they can see on the website, and if we look at you know you've got some some great um, just great images and, and ideas and experiences from um, your colleagues and the PIMCO site. So employ, em, employers really thinking about how they present, how they articulate those values, and they're just the range of, of people that are able to share why it matters to them that they work why, where they do. And, and then those are the sorts of things that um, young women are going to engage with. Um, you know, and I also think it's sort of we can take, you know, at CFA Institute, we have a, a global view and it's great to see what's worked elsewhere. So I was listening to group of young women in a program which is actually modelled on the girls who invest as Catherine knows. So our Young Women in Investment program has just rolled out in Brazil. We did it virtually this year and they were so passionate and so articulate and just super thoughtful about what it is they wanted to do and why they wanted to do it. And so I think the message for potential employers is to say, you know, here is a resource you can really learn from. And because they are articulate and quite structured in, in, in the clarity of what it is they're looking for, then that means that the, the onus is on the employer to say, have we thought through what inclusion means to us? And are we really thinking about what that, um, not just um, cultural fit, but more importantly, a cultural add that we can gain from recruiting you know, young women like this? So um, some really interesting messages in, in these very intentional, very planned programs, I think, that can go more widely. 